Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Dambulkar. In this video, we will see how to switch windows in Selenium. So see, here I have taken one example. Here I am opening this website, ILCTC. Then I am maximizing window. Then I am here I am applying implicit weight. Okay. Now see, I am copying this URL and we will open here. Okay. Now see what I want. I want to click on OK. So see, we'll inspect this and we'll find out X path for this or any locator we can find out. So see, uh, directly I will take by using this selector sub. Okay. Or otherwise we can create our own X path. So see, any uh, this one element matching, it is getting selected. So directly I am taking here directly i am copying this x path now see so i want to click on that web element driver dot find element by dot x path in double quote okay here i am pasting it and what i want i want to click on that i want to click on it okay now see next so once we click on this okay after that what i want here i want to click on hotels okay so again we will find out x path for this so we'll inspect um, directly will create selectors by uh, we will create x path by using selectors of okay we'll check it so one element matching so and this is also getting selected right so directly i am copying this and again here we'll write code driver dot find element by dot x path in double quote will mention that and what we'll do we want to click on that okay so that also i have mentioned so see here we'll click on hotels now see when i click on hotels it is getting open in new tab right see what i'm saying when i'm clicking on hotels so it is getting in it is getting open in new tab in selenium it is considered as a new window now see if we are getting new window so at that time we have to handle switching of this window see we will see in this example why it is necessary see if it is getting open in the same window then there is no issue okay selenium it will consider as the same window which is in a focus but here when we click on hotels we are getting another window right we got this new window okay we will continue our example and we will see what will happen now see after that what i want from this web page i want to click on this bus bus tickets so see i will inspect this and will create x path for this see we want to click on this bus tickets right so we'll create x path for this okay one element matching and it is getting selected right so we'll copy this x path now see so again after this i want to click on this find element by dot x path in double quote i am pasting it and I want to click on it, right? I want to click on it. So see what we are doing. See, uh, we should not get confused. So see again, I am repeating this. What we are doing here? See, this URL we are opening, right? So first, this uh, window we are getting, this small window we are getting. So we are clicking on OK, right? So here we are clicking on this OK. Then after this, we are clicking on this hotel. See, after clicking on OK. We got this web page and after that we want to click on hotels. Okay, so we are clicking on hotels, right? So that we are doing in this step. After that, what we are doing? So we got this another window, right? After that, we want to click on the bus ticket, right? So that we are doing in this third step, right? So these three actions I am doing. Now see, we will run our code. So run a Java application. Now see, browser got open, click on OK. We got another web page, hotel. 
now see i am closing it here we got error on line number 22 line number 22 is this right now see what is that error no such element right no such element exception on line number 22 see this is line number 22 right so what is the meaning of this no such element in the sense selenium is not getting this web element what are the web element that we have mentioned here that web element is not getting right why we are not getting because see when this window got opened so see selenium is looking here only in this web page only but this new window got opened right selenium is searching here only but this new window got open and we want to click on here right this web element is present in this window but selenium is searching in this window only right and because of that we got this error no such element because selenium is not finding this web element now see what we have to do for this see in selenium there is one concept called a handle what is the meaning of handle see every window has one id that is called as a window handle see every every window has one id one id and that id is called as window handle window handle so see uh, this window will have some handle this window will have some handle right now see currently we are here right selenium is looking here only but we want to switch to this window right so for this purpose here we have to write code to switch to another window by using that handle so see we want to work we want to click on this web element which is present in another window right so what we have to do we have to switch to another window so for this we have to write this code driver dot switch to switch to where see in one example we have seen we have switched to another frame right here we are switching to window now see here you can see string new or handle so see we have to mention we have we have to use this method window and there we have to pass this parameter string name or handle means handle we have to mention there right so see here we have to mention handle name handle of that particular window so that already i have told this window will have one handle this another window will have another handle right so that handle name here we have to mention here we have to mention right here we have to mention now from where we will get it so see for that purpose driver dot get window handle now see if we call get window handle so it will give a handle of current window now see what we want we want to get handles right whatever the windows are open so we want to get ids or handles of all the windows now see so it will return all the handles right all the handles what are the windows those are open now see here see when i am mentioning here get window handle so see what it returns it returns set right it returns set now see so what we have to do we have to save in a set so we'll create one object some handles that i am creating and see when we have mentioned that get window handles so it is of type string right we have to mention we have to create set of type string okay it is showing a red line so we'll import this set okay from the java.util package okay so that also we have done now see so all window handles will be in this variable okay so this is our name okay? we have given this name we can uh, give any name okay now see we want to retrieve we want to collect handle names from this variable this set variable right now see how to take how to find that handles name for that purpose we have to use iterator iterator it is equal to handles dot and we have to call one method iterator so see we are initializing this iterator variable and from this we will find out handles now so it is showing red line so we have to import this so we have to import iterator from this packet java.util it is showing other options also but we have to import from java.util package okay so that we have done now see when i am calling next method 
so see whenever i am calling next method so it will return first value and that we have to save okay so what we'll do we'll save it in some string object a string variable so see here we have open multiple windows right so first one is parent right so that will be the parent id then we have open another window so that will have child id if you open again then it will have one more child id right so we'll call it sub child id okay whatever the name that we'll give it okay so see first time so see that control will be here when we are calling it dot next this iterator variable dot next so it will give parent id when again we'll call it then it will give child id right so it uh, currently at the beginning this control will be here it will uh, when we call dot next method then it will give parent id again if you call then it will give child id so see parent id that we got when you call this next method so it is showing okay add cost to string okay so that will do now see again we'll create another variable child id is equal to it dot next okay now so again it is showing the red line so we have to cost it to string okay so that we have done now see we want to switch to child id right so we have two windows so see this will have some handle this will have some handle now see selenium is looking here right but we want to switch to this window so we, we have to mention handle of this window right so here we want to switch to this window so its handle here we will mention so what is handle name child id right so here we will mention this child id this child id right now see so what we are switching to window which has handle this child id run our code to see so browser got opened so see so click on okay then it has open hotel page so see it has click on bus tickets also and we got this third window right in previous case we got error because it was searching here right but that web element page in this window so what we have done we have switched to this window and after that we have clicked here right after that we got this web page now see suppose we want to click on any web element on this parent web page suppose something like this we want to click on e catering but now we have switched to this web page right so in that case what we have to do again we have to switch to parent id right so see suppose we want to click on this parent page right so at that time we have to switch to parent page and then we can perform any operations we can find any web element from this parent page right so in this way we can handle windows or we can switch windows in selenium so friends i hope you like this video if is yes, then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you